Welcome, carrying plenty of fans to the action here tonight in New York City. Great to have you with us. We are set to get you over the hump this Wednesday night with another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all yours. VA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys, but these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see what comes of it, Allie. Thank you. And two conference rivals facing off here. Grant, what were some of your fiercest rivalries at the NBA level? You know, when I was in Detroit, it had to be the Hawks and I think probably the Bulls. I think the Bulls were everybody's rival in the Eastern Conference back then. And then, of course, in Phoenix, we had some real battles with the Lakers. And the starting lineup for the Nets. We've got Nicholas Claxton. Ben Simmons is out there with Kevin Durant. Then there's Seth Curry. And it's Harris in at the two. And for New York, Bullock and Randall make up the two forward spots. Quickly and Barrett, the guards. And it's Robinson in at the center position. Now here's Quickly. Turned in an outstanding game against Oklahoma City. Outside Barrett. Just four to shoot. Fournier for three. The next rebound. Barrett passes to Fournier. And the three-pointer goes. Now this kind of balance is going to make a huge difference in R.J. Barrett's improvement in the league. When to score and when to be the assist maker. Pass to Simmons. Here's Claxton. Robinson with the block. Quickly against Curry. It's quickly with a drive. And the powerful one-handed slam. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. So it's Brooklyn now. The Knicks making their last shot with the drive. Curry gets it to fall from the right block. New York has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Quickly against Simmons. Pass to Randall. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Yeah, Randall's not passing that one up. Fantastic job at converting when he's got the kind of position like that. Brooklyn with the ball. It's a five-point game. Last time they met in Brooklyn. And it was just a strange loss. They were far from their best, but still managed to keep it close. Yeah, really the only thing close, though, about that game was the score. In just about every other aspect, they were totally outplayed. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said, one thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Blocking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. Now how about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. The Nets have gone two of three to get this one going. Simmons with it. Picked up by Fournier. Simmons, the pass to Durant. Harris on the wing. Durant finds Harris. First shot won't go. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Randall, the pass to Fournier. Quickly with the ball. Pass to Barrett. Shot clock at six from deep three-point range. And it's quickly with a miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. To the middle. Here's Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. As point guards go, I don't know that anyone can throw it down like Simmons. He dunks more than most centers do. Now Fournier. To the inside. Here's Randall. The kick out to Fournier. Pass to Quickly. It's Barrett on the wing. Connects from downtown. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Here's Curry. 
A 17-point game for him in the win against Sacramento. Durant with it from deep. That shot missing. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. And here's quickly giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Harris against Randall. Down low. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And at the midpoint of the season, a great time to check out the power rankings. Gives you a good idea of how teams stack up. You take a look at Utah. They slipped a bit. Still in the top ten, though. Seeing where the Knicks are, they've tried a couple times to make a push up the rankings with no success. But I think they can be proud of where they landed. Now here's Barrett. His last outing, he had 24 points. It's quickly with a drive. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Seth Curry. Some super impressive stuff from quickly in the first year playing in the NBA. Just getting up to speed. That didn't seem to be much of a problem. Shooting two. First one falls for him. You know, watching quickly, many of the moves he flashed in college transferred well to the NBA. And the one thing that stuck out, and a lot of people were talking about it, was last year, Emmanuel's ability to hit that floater on the move. And quickly drops them both. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on... He can be lights out. Curry against quickly. Pass to Durant. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. What is it that teams need to do at this point to keep players motivated for the second half of the season, Brent? Well, if you've talked about goals at some point during training camp, it's a great time coming back from the All-Star break and as the season ends to remind the team of the things that you guys dedicated yourselves to doing. And this gives you the opportunity and runway to achieve those things. throws good from Durant. With the amount of pressure Durant puts on his opponents, it's typical to see him among the leaders in free throw attempts. And both free throws good for Durant. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Quickly with the ball. Now guarded by Harris. And the Knicks miss again. Brooklyn trailing. Here's Curry. Taking a look at his numbers. Averaging about 11 a game. Durant, no good. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim. And he just can't get it to go. Even with the defense, not really a factor. Now here's Randall. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Good offense beats good defense? Not always. Oh, Simmons throws it down hard. Oh, my. Big Ben's showing us how it's done. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Quickly. And the foul called on Emmanuel Quickly. That's his first foul. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. For Brooklyn, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. 
Durant, the pass to Curry. Pass to Harris. Clock at six. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. Free throw drops for Harris. And the Knicks making a change here. Brunson's checked in. And he can't hit the second. And he nails the third. New York has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc of the first quarter. Pass to Fournier. Now here's Randall. Simmons defending. The kick out to Fournier. Now Robinson. Inside. Here's Barrett. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Barrett's got five points. Well, there a nice touch down there as the lefty was able to negotiate the little room that he had. Barrett's gone two of four from the field. Now here's Curry. And here's Durant. Robinson with the block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. Controls the rebound and the putback. Fournier's got his second basket. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Harris on the wing. Pass to Durant. Over Fournier. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Outside Simmons. Brunson against Durant. Back to Simmons. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. He's got six. Yeah, Kevin knows when he can score, so he waits. Make sure that somebody else doesn't have a better shot before he does that. Good play there. Pass to Randall. Back to Brunson. Now here's Barrett. Six to shoot. Fournier, the pass to Brunson. Let's the three fly. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. The three, here's Harris. And it's Brunson with the rebound. The Knicks with the lead. And here we go, the Knicks in transition. The coaching staff likes this. Mitchell Robinson down there and drawing fouls. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for New York. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I'm loving the ping-pong action Shoot of the ball two. tonight. A decent number of assists so far. That one's off. A lot of people like Mitchell Robinson because he does what he's told to do, and that is stay in the lane. It's where he does a lot of damage, both defensively and offensively. So the Nets making a switch here. Aldridge is checked in for Claxton. Warren comes in for Durant. O'Neal, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Mills in for Curry. Good on the second one. 
Brooklyn's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Warren. Let's go with a three. The Knicks pull it in. Rose, left side. Can't hit that one. And Brooklyn will go the other way with it. Simmons up top. Coming off a 16-point game against Sacramento. O'Neal on the wing. Guarded by Rose. Back to Simmons. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Simmons has got eight. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Robinson passes to Rose. And the Knicks miss again. The Nets have got six of 14 in so far. Here's Mills. Blocked! And they'll get another chance. Takes a three. Sends it home from three-point land. It's a tie ball game. This is some of what he does best. Mills can shoot from downtown. Out to Rose. From the arc. Hits the trifecta. These teams are finding the range. Showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. For Brooklyn, they've gone 7 of 16 so far. Big expectations on Cam Reddish as he came into the league. And now starting to adapt to more and more minutes. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. And the more and more Cam Reddish gets confidence in that kind of game where he's going to go inside and attack, that's a big help. And while Cam Reddish has certainly had his obstacles since joining the league, he's proven he's ready to learn, Brent. I think that's the most important thing is after you get over the anger, be a hate, trust me, to get angry first, is just to settle in and say, what can I work on and where can I start to earn minutes on the floor? Cam's starting to do that, and he's starting to grow. First free throw is good. He's such a versatile forward that can defend and shoot and score. Reddish's game has future all-star written all over. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Brooklyn has gone only one of four from three-point land. Simmons, the pass to Warren. The layup off target. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out-hustled so far. Pass to Brunson. From deep, Rose gets it to drop. Now two of four. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Brooklyn trailing. Outside Simmons. And here's Mills from the arc. It's hauled in by Reddish. And here are the Knicks. They've gone on an 8-0 run. To the paint. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And now it's a 10-point Nick lead. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome tonight. Timeout called. Brooklyn. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Now here's Simmons. Give him eight points now. Down low. Here's Warren. Jams it in off a great move. Yeah, Warren hungry to get in there and get his hands on the rim. Two more for him. 
Brunson with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Simmons defending. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And that one's good. There's a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. Rose has gone three for five shooting from the floor. Outside Mills. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Reddish has got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Brunson. Pass to Reddish. Shoots over Mills. And that one is hammered home! They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Outside Simmons. Pass to Aldridge. And so it's the New York Knicks now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And the Knicks, such a feel-good story. You got to give Coach Tom Thibodeau a lot of credit. Julius Randle certainly does. He has us all bought in. You know, we can't really ask for more than that. A coach who's going to lead us and, and have everybody buy in, and we're seeing the results. We're seeing the fruits of our labor. Grant, they certainly are. <laughs> and the New York faithful, delighted to witness meaningful games once again. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, we've seen a confident-looking Knicks team out there. Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. We've got Cam Reddish. Derrick Rose is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's Toppin. That's the group from New York starting the second. And that's where his advantage is. Speed in the open floor. Mills is a Tasmanian devil of sorts on the break. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, you want to talk about a super team. Last season, the Brooklyn Nets became the only team in NBA history to boast six players who made it all NBA over their career. Guys, the roster has changed just a bit, but make no mistake, this team remains loaded in a way we don't see too often. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks. Now here's Aldridge. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Rose. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. One thing about Derrick Rose that's never changed over the years, Grant, is his ability to come through in the clutch. When a big basket is needed, he's the guy you want on the court. Well, how many times have we seen it? End of game situation, Rose in an isolation set. And even against a double team, he finds a way to shake free and get the bucket. As dependable as it gets when the pressure's on. And the first one at the line is good. Looking at the modern game, Grant, what adjustments would you have to make in your game to thrive in the league today? Well, I would have worked more on developing the three-point shot. Back in the 90s, it was more about the mid-range game, uh, a la Michael Jordan. But these guys now, they live at the arc, and that's just not how we did it back in the day when I was playing. And so Rose knocks them both down. The Nets have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. 
Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And he's going for the oop here. Well, this is something he's working on. A good natural leader from the point guard position wants to help out by becoming a better facilitator. Rose outside. Pass to Reddish. Three-pointer. He drops it from range. Reddish has got seven points. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Here's O'Neal. Sumner on the wing. Guarded by Rose. Kicks it out to Warren. Fires the three. It's rebounded by New York. Now quickly. He has six. Rose outside. Pass to quickly. Here's the three. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Now here's Mills. Guarded by quickly. Here's Warren. Drives to the hoop. Can't connect. Making him one for six from the field. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's Toppin. Good on the bucket. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Both teams will make substitutions. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. For Brooklyn, they've gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Here's Durant on the money with the jumper. Durant's got six. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to quickly. Back to Barrett. They double him with Harris. Here's Toppin. Rebounded by the Nets. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. And it was really their defense that got them the win. They had a plan scripted out, and it worked to perfection. Well, good defensive game plan, and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. Now here's Durant. He has six. The kick out. Curry. The three is up. Knocks down the long J. He's got five. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Here's Barrett. He's got five. On the wing quickly. And they waste no time getting those three points back. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. And that one misses. And Grant, in 2015, you became part owner of the Atlanta Hawks. How pleased were you to see their performance in last year's playoffs? Well, it was incredible. So much fun to see this team come together, rally, and have an incredible run in this past postseason. Now, as a broadcaster, you don't want to have a rooting interest, but I'll confess, it was definitely special to see. Now here's Curry. He's got five. Ooh, excellent D there from Quickly. 
Now here's Randall, guarded closely. And one big difference for Randall now, his ability to finish with the right hand. Well, it's opened up a whole world of possibilities as teams just want him to go left. If he spins back and feels confident, he'll use that right hand to get a finish. Free throw drops for Randall. And he's really silencing all the haters. Randall has become a guy you can run the offense through time and time again. And Randall drops them both. Seventh pick in the 2014 NBA draft. The interesting thing about Randall is he falls into that category as a tweener. Maybe not a three-man or a four-man, but over the course of his career, he's decided to improve his outside shooting, become a threat driving to the basket, and now finding a home offensively in the NBA. You wonder how much further he can go if he could expand to the three-point line. Julius Randall's going to be in this league for a long time. And Randall effectively became a point center starting last year. And Coach put him in spots where he can make easy reads. So Randall knows exactly when to attack and when to look for a teammate. Here's Sumner. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. The floater is rebounded by Barrett. New York has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Pass to Randall. Back to Fournier. 4-3. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Fournier's got eight. Uh, the man was wide open there, and Julius Randall understood the timing to get him the ball to get that score. Brooklyn has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Here's Sumner, guarded by Barrett. Here's Claxton. For three, Durant. It's hauled in by Robinson. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Outside Barrett. From downtown, and again, New York with the triple. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Brooklyn calls timeout. Trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and... All they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Simmons has checked in for Brooklyn. Here's Simmons. Give him eight. Pass to Harris. Randall with a steal. Now quickly, hounded by Harris. Back to quickly. Over Harris. And misses it off the right side of the rim. A difficult situation for Brooklyn. To the left side wing. Terrific playmaking from Simmons. Getting the ball into his hands off a wide open shooter. For New York, they've gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. Barrett against Simmons. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Randall finds quickly. And here is Fournier, guarded by Durant. Five to shoot. Fournier, the pass to Randall. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Randall's gotten his third basket of the night. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And here's Curry for three. Pure from three-point range. And you got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. 
Randall, right side. Back to quickly. Pass to Randall. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Simmons. And now the Nets on the break. Here's Curry. It's rebounded by Barrett. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Quickly drives in. And that one's good. Quickly's got 14 points for the game. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Brooklyn has gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. Inside, Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. No better way to fire up your teammates. Durant showing good athleticism on the Monster Jam. Curry against Quickly. Outside Barrett. Pass to Randall. Curry with the block. Simmons against Robinson. And the foul called on Emmanuel Quickly. That's his third foul of the game. Picks up his third foul. We'll see now what coach decides to do from here. Brunson has checked in for Quickly. Here's Curry. Robinson with the block. And he gets it back. Tries the hook. Pass to Claxton. Second chance shot. Good work defensively by Robinson. And for New York, their shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Barrett can't hit. Got a piece of it. And the foul called on R.J. Barrett. That's his first foul. So the Nets making a switch here. Mills is checked in. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Now here's Durant. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Sacramento. Skilled and instinctual enough to have the offense run through him. KD has become an expert at passing out of the pick and roll. Here's Brunson. Pass to Randall. And Mills pulls it down. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. So both teams making some changes here. Now here's Rose. Tightly guarded. And it's good for two. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Mills. After the basket by New York. Outside Durant. Jacks up a three. The Knicks pull it in. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. They really had a strong night shooting the basketball. They got hot and stayed hot. Saw the box score the next day and thought about those percentages. They had guys just going off in that one. Let's it go from deep. And the Knicks, another three. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Left side Mills. Right side, Simmons to the middle. Here's Aldridge. Robinson with the block. Ooh, Durant with a steal. From 17, and he hits the jumper for two. Durant's got 10 points. Well, his ability to pull up off the dribble should be illegal for a near seven-footer. Durant showing exceptional body control there. Right side, Robinson. Rowe is outside. The triple first three of the quarter and third overall guys the defense might want to step up just a little bit on him from this point on now here's Durant he's got 10 fires for three and they recover it outside Mills it's hauled in by Robinson 
Robinson's got five rebounds tonight. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded by Mills. Back to Brunson. Three-pointer. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Rose has got three assists now in this one. With one on the clock. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's the New York Knicks in total control. Up by 29 going into the break. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Coach, the offense is flowing. What will be your message to the team at halftime? Keep attacking. Make the extra pass. Hit their size out of the lane. Hit the open man. Thanks, Coach. Guys, got to keep being unselfish out there. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. An outstanding first quarter for Derrick Rose. He ended up with 15 points, three assists, and one rebound. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Knicks. They're getting a lot out of their bench. A lot. For the most part, opponents' game plan is to take away the starters. But then, when your second unit comes in and plays with this type of intensity and torches the Nets, you've created a whole new problem for the other team. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Nets. They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. They can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Boy, you look at Derrick Rose. What a contribution. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Kicking off the second half, here's Steve Nash's five. We've got Joe Harris, Nicholas Claxton out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's Kevin Durant, and it's Curry in at the point. Here's Randall. It doesn't go for him. Ooh, great D that time from Simmons. Harris outside. Tipped away. Pass to Claxton. The Knicks pull it in. Robinson's got rebound number seven tonight. And it's Randall with the jam. While using some serious moves and lateral quickness, that gets him right past the defense. Julius Randle with a nice move. And that's shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Quickly against Curry. Looking to end this cold spell. And it's slammed in by Durant. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Now here's quickly. He's got 14. Randall, the pass to Barrett. Back to Randall. Shot clock at six. To the inside, quickly. Tipped! Harris against Rose. Durant has the open look. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Durant's got four points in the quarter. Well, the ball hitting his hands and then the ball hitting the back of the net as KD throws another one in. Quickly passes to Rose. And here they come. Harris with it. Picked up by Rose. Harris misses. The Knicks have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Outside Barrett. Oh, 
Pass to Rose. That's basket number six in eight tries. Like a matador. Olay. There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Simmons with it. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. And for the Knicks, their shooting has been excellent so far. Around 56%. Well, we knew something might happen with Ben Simmons. And clearly, he and the 76ers just weren't on the same page. Now, sometimes the relationship between a player and a team just runs its course. And after their disappointing postseason exit last year, it was time to part ways. So I'm, I'm sure Simmons is definitely looking forward to reinventing himself with his new team teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring this has not been his best night. Durant, no good. Curry against quickly. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Here's Robinson. That one goes. Count it. This is what Robinson does. Puts it in when he's around the tin. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Curry drives in. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Durant against quickly. Pass to Curry. The three is up. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got four assists now tonight. Unselfish play by KD there. Such a big part of what makes him a special player. Now here's Rose. 17 points in the game. Now Barrett. On the wing, Durant. Shot is up. And too long on the shot. The Knicks have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Shot is good by Barrett. Barrett's got 10. Yeah, he's going to find a way to score. RJ sniffing out the opportunity there. The Nets shooting just 36% on the third. Brooklyn calls timeout. Boy, you look at Derrick Rose. What a contribution. And I think a new plan would be a good idea. At least make it hard on this guy. So for the Knicks, Toppin comes in for Randall. And Fournier is subbed in for Rose. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Sumner comes in for Harris. Here's Claxton. He's got six. From 11 feet away, offensive rebound. Robinson with the block. They retain possession. And another shot. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Pass to Toppin. Back to Barrett. Quickly outside. The three is up. Warren with the rebound. And Mitchell Robinson picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. And the Nets with possession here. Looking to get it going. And it's good on the lay-in. Give him eight points now. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. Outside Barrett. Pass to Toppin. Now Fournier. Clock at six. Back to Barrett. Fires from deep. Second shot opportunity. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Knicks. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. 
closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. Well, looking up and down the stat sheet here, I'm seeing those second chance points jump out at me. They've done a great job on the offensive glass. Aldridge is checked in for Brooklyn. Mills comes in for Curry. And Brooklyn shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Pass to Simmons. Stolen by quickly. To the paint. Here's Fournier. New York no good that time either. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession. If they can get it, he doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Great setup. When you have Simmons' height, it's easier to see the entire floor. Now here's quickly. 14 points for him. Pass to Fournier. And here is Barrett. Sinks that one. Now shooting 5 of 10 and looking sharp. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Here's Sumner. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. O'Neal, he's checked in for Ben Simmons. It's both from the stripe. For New York, they've gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Outside Barrett. For three. The shot, no good. The Nets go the other way with it. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Cash, Mills with the bucket. Now a timeout called by New York. You know T.J. Warren's accuracy is truly remarkable. Here's a guy who can really hit from anywhere. And even more than that, do it efficiently. Reddish is checked in for New York. Brunson comes in for quickly. And a change for the Nets. Durant, he's checked in for Sumner. New York has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. You know, Grant, looking at Warren's precision shooting, he's used it to pull off some pretty staggering scoring performances. Yeah, a few guys have had over 50 points in a single game before. When he gets in the zone, Warren can have a huge impact. But you know, it's the result of a ton of hard work developing that solid shooting. Brooklyn shooting about 47% on the third. Outside Mills. Pass to Durant. Over Brunson. And there's another one for the Nets. It's just lethal. Once Kevin Durant gets into that spot, he can rise up and it's pretty much going to go in. Here's Toppin. He's covered by Aldridge. Here's Toppin. Give him eight points now. And here's Brunson from the arc. Kevin Durant pulls it in. And they're running. Here's Mills. Fournier with a rebound. Fournier's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Reddish. 
Oh, denied by Durant. Ah, the large wingspan of Durant on full display. What a block there. Inside. Here's Aldridge. O'Neal on the wing. Here's the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. They'll be hosting Miami for their next game. And that's the third game out of four at home for them. And he's playing the game with a certain flair right now. Oh, he caps off the move with a little hang time on the rim. Now here's Mills. Brunson defending. Pass to Durant from deep three-point range. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Durant's got nine points now in the quarter. Outside Brunson. Here's Reddish. Fires the three. Rebound Brooklyn. Aldridge has got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Mills. Tight defense on him. And how about that? Lamarcus still with that size can go up and power it through. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Pass to Barrett. Takes it inside. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And how about RJ getting a little bit fancy with that one as he flushes it home. One fifty-one left in the third. Here's O'Neal. Fournier covering. Here's Durant. And there's another one for the Nets. Uh, feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Barrett passes to Brunson. Pass to Reddish. Oh, denied by Durant. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. Falls for Aldridge. Interesting to see how LaMarcus Aldridge has embraced more and more of a leadership role with this team. He knows he has what it takes to guide this team to higher heights. Now here's Barrett. 14 points for him. Pass to Toppin. The kick out to Brunson. Misses the three. Brooklyn has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Down low. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Brunson on the drive. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Free throw good from Brunson. The Knicks making a switch here. Rose is checked in. Curry, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Both free throws good from Brunson. And for the Nets, they're shooting 54% so far in the third quarter. Brunson against Curry. Pass to Durant. Six to shoot. Yeah. 
is rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got five rebounds tonight. Rose against Harris. Here's Brunson. Curry with some nice D. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. And so it's New York. Up 15 points as this quarter concludes. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. Back after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Jalen Brunson is out there with Derrick Rose. And it's Toppin in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Here's Toppin. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Outside Durant. Wide open look. They get the rebound. Kicks it out to Aldridge. It's Warren on the wing. Yes, and a nice assist from Aldridge. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Toppin. Barrett with it. Back to Toppin. From deep. The shot misses. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Celtics. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Now Warren. Over Toppin. And it's Warren missing. But Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, you really have to appreciate their relentlessness. Randall finds Barrett. He takes it in. And a two-handed jam! You love that. Just that quick first step and RJ up and over the D. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Rose against Harris. Durant for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall with the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Knicks lead by 16. Some agility shown there by Julius Randle with that frame, able to find a way to score. Curry passes to Durant. Brunson against Curry. Pass to Aldridge. Over Brunson. And Aldridge the bucket on the assist by Curry. Curry's got his sixth assist of the night. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Oh, stolen by Harris. Stop, stop, stop. Now here's Curry. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Back to Harris. Hits a three-pointer. Have to get out on him. He'll burn you from there repeatedly. Now a timeout called by New York. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. So for the Knicks, Robinson, he's checked in for Toppin, and quickly subbed in for Brunson. 
Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Ben Simmons comes in for Durant. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. He implored his team to fight until the end. He said, quote, we might be up now, but we can't give the ball away. Don't let your guard down until the clock hits zero. Back to you. Appreciate the report, Allie. Clock at four. Barrett passes to Rose. And again, the Knicks missing. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three-point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Harris, the shot is good. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Quickly passes to Randall. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Rose. Over Harris. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. Brooklyn has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Kicks it out to Warren. The free ball. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got four assists in the game. Wow. Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Rose into the lane. Good. Now seven for 11 on the night. They're not rolling like they were earlier. The bucket's a little harder to come by. Brooklyn has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Simmons, the pass to Warren. Tries a 10-footer. Goes back up. Robinson with the block. Curry against Randall. And finally, they hit one. That gives him a double-double in this one. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Randall. Quickly finds Rose. Outside Barrett. Takes the three. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Yeah, I don't know about that shot in particular, but Barrett was there to provide some offense that's a lot of freedom for a point guard. Outside. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. And you know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth one, too. Here's Simmons. Pass to Warren. Let's it go from deep. Like watching Randall get down, use that frame, and use those feet to move around defensively. Fournier's checked in for New York. For New York, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. And here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Uh, Randall with a great effort there, up and athletic and at the rim. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Claxton. Here's Warren. Randall with some nice D. The Knicks have gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Here's Barrett. And he dunks it down. RJ's instincts are to score, and his instincts are taking over right now. Curry with it. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Harris outside. 
to the middle. They need this. Count it. You know Simmons can get physical when he has to, going right through the contact. And it's the Knicks with the ball. They lead by 11. Quickly against Curry. Quickly passes to Barrett. Now here's Robinson. Randall finds Fournier. Just five on the clock. It's Barrett on the wing. Offline with a three. Robinson passes to Randall. Quickly with the ball. Pass to Fournier. Outside Barrett. Three-pointer. Rebound Brooklyn. Claxton's... He continues to let it fly. But the makes have been few and far between. And it's Warren missing. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. And the shot goes in. And the Knicks lead by 13. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. For Brooklyn, they've gotten 7 of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. Now Simmons. Pass to Harris. Now Warren. The kick out to Simmons. Over Fournier. That one rolls around and rims out. New York has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. To the paint. Here's Randall. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Pass to Claxton. Back to Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. Oh, man. Talk about hang time. What a wicked double clutch finish. Hey, when you have that kind of space, you're allowed to get fancy. Now here's quickly. And here's Randall. Over Warren. And it's New York with another. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Timeout called. Brooklyn. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, R.J. Barrett. When you look at the stats from this game, truly, it was his from the start. His scoring's been great, but he's done so many other things on the court as well. Wow, I'm just so impressed with his continued play for his ball club. Boy, once he got it going, the fans really got behind him. He picked up on that energy, and it seemed to get him going even more. Brooklyn's gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Simmons. And he's going for the lob! alley up top, hammer it home! Yeah, the playmaking skills of Simmons are elite. The pass-first attitude he brings is what helps tie the team together. Outside Barrett. Jacks up a three. Drains the triple. Barrett's got 24 points. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Brooklyn shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Curry passes to Durant. It's hauled in by Robinson. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Curry against quickly. Randall left side. Fournier with the bucket. And Julius trying to find ways where he can be more effective as a playmaker. Here's Curry. Down low. Here's Simmons. Two points. That one goes. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Hey, and the apple not falling far from the tree. Simmons' dad was a legendary player in Australia. And that's where Simmons says he really learned the value of team ball. 
At age 15, he played in a world championship there. Just invaluable to his early development. One shot. Free throw, no good for Simmons. You know Simmons has put up with a lot of criticism about his game. But give him credit. He's a talented player who just wants to get better. Now here's Barrett. Pass to Randall. Shoots over Durant. Tries it from the block. And Durant with the block. Here's Simmons. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Evan Fournier. With a tantalizing combination of size and skill, Ben Simmons has to be a headache to guard. the first and that one goes in two from the line that time and so it's New York with it it's a 14 point game Barrett against Harris. Quickly, outside. Inside. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. And the Nets with possession here. After the basket by New York. Pulls it. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And in the 2021 Conference Finals, three out of the four teams were helmed by black head coaches. Many hoping that'll help create more opportunities moving forward, Grant. No question. The NBA is number one in embracing diversity in its league. Now, we still have a long way to go, but you have to be proud of the coaches who performed, as you said, in last year's conference finals, but also seeing the steps Shoot move two. in the right direction this summer with a lot of hires who are African-American head coaches. So, you know, obviously, it's a results-driven business, but greater diversity is certainly welcome. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Here's quickly. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. To the inside, Randall. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, he goes in there, and you're worried about getting bumped if you're a defender by Julius Randall, not the other way around. So physical. Drops them both. 114 left to play in the fourth. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Knicks. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And you look at their record after tonight. 30 wins on the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for R.J. Barrett. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop.
There's 39 seconds left in the fourth. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. Here's McBride. 36 seconds left to play in the fourth. Pass to Barrett from the arc. And again, New York with the triple. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Over to the left wing. 16 seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Aldridge. Puts the fadeaway right on the money. A big part of this attack from this team is Aldridge right there. Doesn't get any sweeter than that. Here's McBride. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.